Fans, this is Andrew Pardue with Inside Natural Bodybuilding, and I'm here with RJ Perkins, IFPA Pro, Coach, Trainer. RJ, um, first I'd like to talk about you turning pro, maybe some advice you have for other people wanting to turn pro, and advice for once they do turn pro. Um, well, first of all, when you turn pro, just enjoy it, right? It's an exciting moment, you know, it's very emotional, it's fluttering. Uh, for me, when I decided to compete to go and turn pro, you know, I knew then and there that it was, you know, ride or die. It was all or nothing. So then, you know, I went with it, turned pro back in 2010. Um, and I guess the best piece of advice I can give is, is that, you know, it's a hobby. It's not a job. And a lot of times what happened was initially when I turned pro, I turned it into a job. And it kind of didn't get, it started to turn not fun anymore. It started to turn into a full-time job. So a lot of times and information and uh, feedback that I give you guys is just enjoy it. It's a hobby, right? A lot of us don't make money off of it. Uh, it's not a money-making industry. It's just a hobby. It's a sports lifestyle. So if anything, have fun, enjoy it, ride with it, and stay humble. Just because you have a title in front of it makes you no different than somebody else. Uh, a lot of times that I tell people is, is that, you know, there's no difference between me and all these amateur competitors or stuff on stage. I mean, there's a lot of amateurs out there that are actually better than me. Right? Uh, so the only title difference is just uh, four, uh, the four letters in front of my name. Uh, do you have any future plans in competing yourself this year? Uh, currently this year, no. Uh, anybody that follows me, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all that stuff, uh, I am not competing this year. I'm not doing anything bodybuilding wise this year. I'm actually getting married this year, so I'm devoting a lot of my time and uh, my energy towards my fiance, planning to get ready for that. We're getting married in October. Uh, we're doing a seven day cruise. Uh, and just spending time with my family, just getting that balance in and just getting that quality time, uh, trying to grow my business, uh, my consulting business, and overall just to improve as an athlete. i got a lot of things in the future plans that I want to do. Uh, if you want to talk about future plans really quick, in 2014 I plan on doing my first power meet. Um, you know, I'm kind of taking a break away from bodybuilding. I'm not stopping it. I'm just kind of uh, loading back off of it. Uh, bodybuilding allows me still to fulfill that competitive edge, that competitive void, but it's something new and different, uh, something fun, and it allows me to keep that balance in my life that I need. I think a lot of people actually um, enjoy doing powerlifting meets during the offseason just to, like you said, keep that competitive edge and still enjoy it. Uh, speaking of your consulting business, your team name is Team Aesthetics Training and Nutrition. Yep. Um, you actually have a competitor. <laughs> competing in this show yep. at the No Gear Classic. Um, can you talk about what you guys do and how you expect your competitor to do? Well, basically today, um, you know, I have Mary Elizabeth Poag Twitty competing today. Or I call her Thor. Um, long story behind that. But anyways, uh, I have her competing today. She's actually, it's her first show. She's competing today in uh, Women's Physique. Uh, very first uh, natural competition, she uh, came to me one day, approached me. Uh, actually, her husband is a cop for our uh, Raleigh Police Department. Her brother's a detective on the police department. You know, she found out about me through her brother. She contacted me and reached out to me, and I told her I'd be more than willing to help her out. Um, you know, not a mountain of time frame to get ready for a show. Uh, we only had about 14 weeks, which is really not suffice. I really like to work with people at least at a minimum of 20. Um, so, you know, we worked together for 14 weeks. She had about 14 pounds she needed to lose. She went above and beyond that. Um, her prep was pretty seamless. Everything was pretty much on point and track. Uh, you know, really not too much cardio, not too much deficit in her nutrition. Uh, but to talk about aesthetics training and nutrition, it's just me. I'm the sole owner and the sole person that runs it. It's actually my part-time business. I do have a full-time job. Uh, but uh, I started about a year and a half ago, and you know, with great coaches out there in the market, uh, obviously Cliff Wilson, uh, 3DMJ, <laughs> Lane Norton, uh, Paul Revelia. Uh, I mean, just so many names out there. There's so many coaches in the market. I mean, it's a new, large business. It's growing and growing with new new coaches. And uh, for me personally, my main thing about it is I started my consulting business. My primary focus was to teach people not to make the mistakes that I have made in doing and competing in this sport. Uh, my main issue is, is a lot of things that have to do with, you know, again, keeping that balance factor, uh, keeping everything in place with, you know, keeping that family and uh, quality time. And overall, uh, right now, the main goal is over the past year and a half, I've worked with over 100 people. And a lot of times people think that it's just you know, bodybuilding and competition, when actually a lot of times it's people that just want to change their lifestyle. People looking for nutrition, people looking to lose weight, uh, people just trying to change their complete entire lifestyle. Uh, so my you know, whole thing with aesthetic training and nutrition is the whole fact of the matter of just, again, you know, trying to teach people not to make the same mistakes. To give adequate, uh, optimal information and detail, backed by science, but if anybody follows me, science only plays such a small role as well. Uh, but just really teaching people what nutrition really is about. 
And it's not about just eating chicken and broccoli all day. There's a lot more uh, to it in regards to you know macronutrients balancing and stuff like that. But uh, trying to do big things. I have a bunch of other people competing this year. I got Peter Leonard to go for his pro card this year. Uh, I got um, Brandon Arnold going for his pro debut. Uh, I got Eddie Connor going for his pro card. Uh, I mean, I got a good amount of people. I got a couple powerlifters uh, competing this year. I mean, I got a whole bunch of people. It's a process. It takes time. Um, you know. I'm just trying to allow and make sure that you know people understand and I respect and practice what I preach and just you know get it out there, promote it, and then just let it the cards fall as they may and just promote, 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 promote. And on top of all that, you actually have a YouTube page. Can you uh, tell everybody what that's all about? Yes, if you are not following me on YouTube, you need to start. So basically, uh, youtube.com slash IPA Pro RJ Perkins. If anybody has followed me uh, and checked me out, there are like 400 subscribers. Um, and basically, right now at this point, it's uh, pretty small and I'm working my way on up on working on growing it, uh, doing different videos, doing more fun things. Uh, I mean, yes, you can find common things of you know my training regimen, what I eat, and all this other stuff like that. Very common formats that you find online, but I'm also trying to do my own small personal things just to make it fun. Most of all, I make it me. I don't really hide and shy away from who I am. I'm loud, I'm energetic, I swear. Um, but um, I guess I'm a sociable person and I'm going to be around, so youtube.com slash IPAProRJ Perkins. If you're not following, you need to start following me now. Yeah, you guys definitely need to check him out. Um, some big thanks coming for RJ and his team. Um, until next time, bodybuilding fans, this is Andrew Pardue and RJ Perkins with Inside Natural Bodybuilding. Thank you, sir.